in calcutta also her daily routine continued to be almost the same she used to take her bath a little earlier for which purpose she went to the ganges on alternate days accompanied by golapma her physical work too was less as golapma and yoginma looked after the household management sometimes in later days even the worship accepting the offering of food would be entrusted to some monastic disciple but in spite of relief from regular duties her life at calcutta was much more strenuous for devotees would go to her at all hours of the day for initiation for getting their doubts cleared or for unburdening their hearts even after 2 pm when she rested quite a number of women devotees would gather round her for they had to return home by 4 or 4:30 pm the holy mother would therefore talk to them lying in bed in the afternoons men devotees are allowed to see her after half past 5 when the women assembled would be asked to retire to an adjoining room as the men came in to make obeisances to her the holy mother would be seated on the bed stead her feet resting on the floor her face veiled and her whole body covered with a chadar sheet if any devotee made enquiries about her health or other matters she would reply either in low tones or just by the movements of her head or by hand those who had to ask her any questions waited till the others had gone out if the devotee was intimately known to the mother she would directly answer his questions in a subdued voice in case he was a stranger or was an elderly person she would reply indirectly in very low tones and the disciple attending on her would communicate the reply distinctly to him on tuesdays and saturdays as well as on special festive occasions the public at large was allowed to approach her and make obeisances they were generally very strenuous days for the holy mother